Rune Audio. Let's take a look at the setup, the installation of this program uh, mounted onto this micro SD card. I have gone through a process already. Um, I am going to assume that people have already done this. So in your PC's micro SD slot you uh, insert your micro SD card and you go to Rune Audio and you download the latest version appropriate for your uh, for your format if you use uh, Android if you use uh, the Raspberry Pi in this case is what I'm using Raspberry Pi 2 I might add uh, you go and you download the beta version of that and let's take a look at what I'm talking about here but um, you download the image file you extract it using FreeArc or something to that effect you format your micro SD card using SD formatter you, uh, in this again it depends on your format and your application but I'm using a Windows 7 based PC so for this micro SD card to be formatted I am going to use SD formatter and then I'm going to burn the image using Win32 Disk Imager and I'm assuming that everybody has gone through uh, the process of doing these basic steps to get the image burned onto this micro SD card and then from there what we do is we um, we install it into the Raspberry Pi and we install that there we plug in the Raspberry Pi and then see what happens here so Raspberry Pi is booting up going through the boot process it's um, going to end up at Rune Audio right here asking for a login and for room audio's uh, login it is root enter and then the password is rune all lowercase enter again and now rune audio is running with it looks like a tilde and a square bracket and a hashtag and it stays there so um, you can access Rune Audio from the, uh, the Raspberry Pi via a PC a Windows based PC or perhaps an Android device <clears throat> I'll show you quickly here I kind of already got it set up but uh, you go to your internet browser um, Rune Audio doesn't have to be there that's just the home page I got it set up right now sorry about that noise in the background there it looks like it sounds like a construction site here today on the holiday weekend so I enter in, whoops, I enter into the, uh, the command line here, the command line, the, uh, the address, the address bar here is going to get, whoops, I go like that, back it up, and I'm going to type in the IP address of uh, just leaving the HTTP there. I'm going to go one, whoops, the address of the Raspberry Pi. 
192. Wow, you are really going to challenge me on this, aren't you? You're going to make me there. There. There we go. Okay, so right now in the library, it's already connected. Everything seems to be working. Um, I have two USB storage devices, which is the only content that is on this network. And there is a list of all of the songs that was on the USB flash drive that I have plugged in <clears throat> right here. There's two, S two USB flash drives. This is the one that's currently being ac accessed through the Raspberry Pi via the software Rune Audio that is on the uh, SD card operating the Raspberry Pi accessing USB drives currently more options available Rune Audio just sits here on the desktop I guess waiting for commands um, there is no um, interface if you will uh, graphical user interface um, perhaps there is, I'm unaware of it, so if anybody knows of a graphical, graphical user interface for the desktop, I don't know what else to call it, of Raspberry Pi, once the operating system has loaded for Raspberry Pi, should there not be a graphical user interface where you have icons and, um, and uh, I don't know what kind of environment you would call it, but uh, it would have um, pictures and text boxes and web browsing and uh, so on and so forth. Right now it is going, uh, the audio is going through the Raspberry Pi's HDMI output which is plugged into the TV which is plugged into the amplifier. All I have to do is select <coughs> the appropriate um, setting right here and then I will well let's say I'll pick a song here oh here's a good one an oldie I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. Oh. Got an incoming call. Oh. 